first thing I want to tell you that is that God loves you. Having established that God loves you, the next thing you have to be able to understand is that God has made provision for your forgiveness in line with paraventure what you call sin and iniquity. Once upon a time we fall short of the glory of God, we, we actually deviate from the perspective of the right standing of God. That is why we are humans. There is no sinner without the future, neither a saint without the history. All of us are men and women upon which the blood of Jesus was lavishly spent on us. And by the privilege of the mercy of God, we partake of the economy of life. According to God, we all are thieves that need to be killed. Jesus paid the price. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believe in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. I want to let you understand that that sickness, that infirmity in your life is on a journey to bring you to a point of perishing. I want to submit to you that at this time right now every report of the doctors every report that the devil has given to you everything that is not okay every sickness and disease in your life right now is on a journey of destruction the bible speaking said the thief cometh not but to steal and to kill and to destroy but i have come that ye may have life and have it more abundantly that is to let you understand that that spirit that demonic activity going on around your life is on a journey is on an agenda to bring you to a point of destruction but i want to also submit to you that that is the same reason why jesus died that is the same reason why the blood of jesus was lavishly spent on us so that you and i can have life for god so loved the world that he gave god will never give anything older than better than bigger than fatter than longer than special than jesus if god can give jesus there is nothing he cannot give again to anyone that thing you are trusting god for that thing you are writing as a request i want to submit to you that if god gave jesus to you even before you even get to be born again he has made availability for you in the person of jesus i want to submit to you again that whatsoever you have written down as a request it's not too big for God to give. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. If God can be so benevolent, so kind to us, and give us the most important person that he is to him, the Bible called him the only begotten of the Father. That means before you became a son of God, Jesus was the only one he had. If God ever had a son, he does not have many of them. He only had Jesus. Do you know it's easy for you to give one of your child if you have like five or six <laughs> but when you have one the bible called the only that word only there is to let you understand that god does not have any option again apart from jesus if jesus never resurrected it will not only do us a great disservice it will do even god himself a great disservice imagine you give your son and he's gone and nothing you get a return and that is the reason why God himself has to resurrect Jesus Christ back. Why? Not necessarily for your own sake. For his own sake. Because that was his only hope. As an heritage that he had. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. So if God gave his son and bring him back again to life. To dwell with him. Our life has been taken from us. But God brought back our life. To the agency of his son. Romans chapter 10 verse 10 Romans chapter 10 verse 10 the Bible speaking said media for with the heart man believe unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation with the heart a man believe and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation I don't care to know whatsoever you are going through right now with the heart you can believe with the mouth you can confess so the doctors can appear to you and tell you that you have three days to live you have two days to live with the heart you believe you have two days to live with your mouth you confess that you are not going to die you will not die at the tail end you will live the more with the heart a man believe 
and we demand confession is made unto soteria unto salvation unto sozo i want to submit to you that god himself is depending upon the confession upon your lips and that is why i said when they say there is a casting down you say that we, my problem is what are you saying many of us came in here with all kinds of disease all kinds of sickness all kinds of doctor report as you are hearing me talk to you now begin to disbelieve them you believe doctor so much the other day we went for some little diagnosis in the hospital i took one of the pastors and as we are there my brother apostle paul was there when those people begin they did the first scanning did another scanning the report they gave this guy look upon him he laughed he said papa do you mean all these things are in my body i said i don't agree they are your body but this is what the doctor said the guy began to confess he will not die because according to the doctor report there is no hope doctors will never give any report that there is hope there is never a time you will read a report of a doctor and it will be of hope it's a lie everything is to enslave you and that is the reason why you must believe the report of the lord and you must believe in your heart that god can god can heal god can deliver god can set free if you believe that god can and even if your faith cannot carry 100 percent carry the drugs join together with god can it will be more easier why because i have seen the point in time where doctors say there is nothing we can do about this what do you do when doctors say there is nothing they can do are you waiting for when they will tell you there's nothing they can do or you can also believe the report of the lord at this point and that is why with a heart a man believe if you can only believe the bible says all things are possible i know you have written down a lot of things but if you don't believe them how can i also believe them for you i know faith is needed but my brothers and sisters why do you believe so much the report of the devil i never believe the report of god I have always said in the book of Proverbs, the Bible says, As a man thinketh in his heart, so he sees. They did not even give you any option to think twice. As you think in your heart, so are you. How are you thinking? So many of us have to reorient again our thinking pattern and conform it to the character of Christ. If not, we can never survive. When everybody says things are failing in Lafia, when everybody says things are failing in Nigeria, what are you saying? I'm not saying that we are not in Nigeria. I'm not saying we are not suffering together. But we have to continue to believe in a report that is hopeless. Is there no bar in Gilead? The Bible said. Is there no bar in Gilead?